Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is July 31st in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, our text this morning is going to come out of 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And we're going to look at verse 3 and 4. Now we're told, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Well, who is hiding it? Verse 4, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. So it's hidden unto them, but the reason it's hidden unto them is they give themselves unto their natural desires. And their natural desires pursue all the pleasures that this world has to offer. And the more pleasures that we pile up, the more blind we become. The less treasures that we have in this world, the more our eyes are open to truth. He continues, Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Now, oftentimes when we meet someone and we're talking about when we received Jesus as Savior, when we had that born again, I mean that real born again experience, we express it sometimes as if a weight fell off of our backs. But more than not, it could better be explained as a light shining into our lives. We were in darkness and we have stepped into the light. Because in the darkness, everything is hidden. Sometimes you might not even be able to see your hand in front of your face. But when the light breaks forth, all is revealed. All is exposed. And at that very moment, we see the truth. We know the truth. We're to leave the world behind and we are to pursue the things of God. But day by day, as we enter into our journey, especially very early on, we see that the road to Calvary may be too cumbersome, and so we go back into the world. That's what Jesus is talking about in Luke chapter 8, verse 13, when he's talking about the parable of the sower, and he says, some of the seeds fell upon the rock, and these represent those who hear the word of God. They receive the word of God with joy, but they have no root. Why? Because they are too early in the kingdom of God. They are as the seed that has been planted. They have not sprung forth roots. And if they do have some root, it's not very deep. And notice it says, which for a while they believe, but in time of temptation, they fall away. Why? Because the things of this world are much too appealing. The cost is too high to pay. It's much too easy to live for ourselves. It's much too complicated to deny ourselves. And so because they are so weak at this time in their journey, they fall away. Maybe that was you in a previous day. It was certainly me at a previous time. And we are in good company because that's what the entire Bible is about. From Genesis to Malachi, the people of God, they come into his favor. He blesses them. Life is good. They fall away. He sends divine judgment upon them. They realize his judgment. They repent. They enter into his good graces. He blesses them. They fall away. It's the same story over and over and over. And I can't tell you how many times in my life I've fallen away, but I can assure you, friends, that there does come a day when your roots get deep as you meditate upon the word of God, as you pray, as you live in faithful obedience to his word, as he opens your eyes, as you rid yourself the things of this world, allowing him to open your eyes even more to truth, as you begin to spiritually transcend this world that we live in and enter into a new dimension where you begin to understand things that you never understood before, there comes a time where it's impossible for you to fall away. It would be absolute betrayal. You see, in the past, we can account those things to ignorance, immaturity, 
But there comes a point where we become mature enough that we don't fall away because we're ignorant anymore. We don't fall away because we're immature. We fall away out of open rebellion and absolute betrayal. And that's what Hebrews chapter 6 is talking about. Those who have truly tasted the Lord Jesus, their eyes have been opened. It is impossible for them to fall away. And yet in our text here, it tells us that the God of this world uses this world, which belongs to him, to blind the minds of those who don't believe. And the more their eyes are blinded, the more they refuse to believe. And so just as it is a gradual process to ascend into the things of God, it is a gradual process to descend back into the world. You know the experience. When you first step backwards, you feel very uncomfortable. You don't belong there. You know it. But day after day after you rest in the world, it does become natural. And you begin to do the same things that you were delivered from with absolute ease of conscience. And so this message is twofold. It's both for those who have never believed and trusted in Christ. Their eyes are certainly blind, but it's also to those who've trusted in Christ and have walked back into the world. And at the moment that they do take that first step backwards, they're 50% God, they're 50% world. But the more they drift backwards, the higher percentage of the world and the less percentage of God. And it's the same with us. The more we move forward, the higher percentage of God and the less percentage of the world. We cannot be 50-50 for very long. We cannot sit on the fence. We have to choose whom we will serve. And so friends, I want to encourage you today. If you're sitting stagnant, you won't be there very long because if you're not serving Christ, you will serve the world. If you're not serving the world, you will serve Christ but you must choose whom you will serve. And I pray that you will say with Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Well, hallelujah, friends. I love you. I'm so grateful that you dedicated time out of your day to spend a few moments in the word of God. And I pray that he'll bless that word tenfold. And maybe as you came for a snack, you'll leave with a full course meal. Well, now as he wills and until tomorrow, friends, I truly do love you, and I'll see you on the next video.